Yeah, sort of. It's not magic, but miracle fruit can work wonders with a person's taste buds. The tiny berry is native to West Africa and was first imported several decades ago. It has thrived in Florida. Exotic tropical fruits are becoming more common in the U.S. This one caught the eye of Curtis Mosey. He discovered it by chance at a tropical plant nursery when a salesperson tried to sell him a miracle fruit tree. I said, what's a miracle fruit tree? She says, it's a fruit from Africa. You can eat it and eat a lemon, and the lemon will taste sweet. So I took the miracle fruit, ate it, picked a lemon off a tree, and I couldn't believe it. The berry itself has little flavor, but a compound in the fruit coats the sour taste buds, changing the natural flavors of some foods. In combination with citrus fruits and acidic foods, miracle fruit triggers the same sweet sensation. It's good. Yeah. And it makes sweet foods taste even sweeter. At tasting parties, food lovers are willing to pay top dollar for miracle fruit. Mosey saw a business opportunity in it. The majority of the nurseries that I would buy plants from, I would ask questions about, can you make money with the miracle fruit? They would say, no, it's just a novelty. It's just a... And I felt, well, they've, these, the nurseries, they've been around this fruit longer than I have. So I sort of just respected their word. But I kept planting trees. Now Mosey calls himself the Miracle Fruit Man. He has more than a thousand trees and scores of customers in the United States and abroad. Three dollars each. In he is supplying gourmet shops and restaurants in New York. Dorn Weninger is a vice president for Katzman Produce in New York. So the demand's been really high. Right now the demand has been much more around just um, novelty. Um, so the famous tasting parties. Um, but some of the restaurants are interested, in particular the bars. Um, so we've uh, provided it to, to a few of the restaurants. Several research firms are taking an interest in Miracle Fruit. Some have studied it as a potential sugar substitute, especially for people with diabetes. A team at Mount Sinai Medical Center in Miami plans to explore whether it can help cancer patients receiving chemotherapy. The idea is that it could make food more appetizing to them. Bill Campbell is curator of Fairchild Botanic Garden he says the garden will supply miracle fruit for the study that begins in August. One of the problems they've been faced with is weight loss in, in chemo patients because they say their food doesn't taste good. Um, one of our volunteers uh, who was, all, was a cancer survivor and going through chemo mentioned the use of miracle fruit to the doctor. Mosey also is working with a biotech company to explore the medicinal uses of miracle fruit. He says his goal has always been to bring the joy of tasting the fruit to everyone, but using it to keep people healthy would really be a miracle. Brian Wagner, VOA News.